what's up everybody okay okay sage yellow is back and i know about the unfortunate news so you know let's just get right into this episode so let's talk about our three main story plots i'm oh, sorry hold on for a second fuck stick it in okay so is that a confederate flag hey yo is cameron racist I mean, I thought he was from Alaska. So, so. Is Cameron racist? I never knew that. Anyway. Is that like the I don't know. Nah, that's not a better thing. Whatever. Anyway, so the grandparents, pretty much the grandma, is had it up to here. She's like pretty much over the edge and she's just, she's done with it. Like she's just done with this stuff because Cameron keeps making it hard and she's ready for him to do something. I don't, I, I, we still don't get what, like, what they're trying to do. I don't know how he's going to take over the, or, the world or something, like, is killing the heroes going to help him take over the world? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really get it. I, I really don't know what she wants from him. And, uh, Courtney is going to tell Cameron her, you know, the stuff about his dad, you know, what actually happened, who he was, and then also her Stargirl secret and everybody else, you know, keeping the and Pat is actually trying to reach out to Mike's mom. And uh, Mike and Jakeem, they're gonna go look. They're gonna go look for Sydney. This episode. So we start off this episode with Sydney. I mean, not Sydney. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My God. Okay, chill. Start. Okay, look. So Courtney, she comes back. Pat. They return home and, you know, she gives her mom a big hug and, you know, like they're so worried. And uh, Barbara, she tells that she says that Yolanda's upstairs waiting in uh, Courtney's room and all that stuff. And then she starts talking to Pat and tells him, like, OK, like you've been in that world. Like, what did you see? You know what happened? And Yeah. So Courtney, she goes upstairs to greet Yolanda. You know, they're so happy and they they pretty much make up and they become friends again. So that's when Pat starts talking to starts talking to Barbara about what he saw and he feels like he needs to tell Mike about his mom because he feels like he's failing as a father. He feels like he's becoming just like his dad, you know, just a bad father in general. Now, we know that's not true. We know that's not true, but like Mike does actually fight for his attention cuz he literally did it for like these past well, two seasons really. And Barbara, she even tells me that she's like, you know, you've done really good. And, you know, Pat, he starts explaining like where, like what happened to his mom. So his mom name, I think her name was Maggie. I think Maggie. And she, she, um, she, he didn't even know that she was pregnant until like they met again and whatever. She was pregnant. They had the kid. They were together until they weren't. And she got arrested. So she got arrested and uh, the police, they bring Mike to, to, um, oh damn, I forget. They brought Mike, baby Mike to Pat and Pat, he took care of him. You know, like he came from, you know, the police said they found him at like a, a homeless shelter or something or like a shelter or whatever, or a soup kitchen, I think. And yeah. And after that, you know, Mike's mom, she just left and she just like, she gave up custody with like, without a fight. She did not want any part. She didn't want any part in raising Mike at all. She wanted nothing to do with him. And yeah, that's pretty much the story he told us. And he just like, Mike would ask about his mom all the time. And Pat would just never say anything about it. Cause he just wanted her to, you know, just cease to exist. Like she knew how bad she, how bad she was. And he just didn't want Mike to find out her mom, his mom as well, a terrible person. And, you know, Barbara, she tells, she, you know, talks to Pat. She's like, oh, you know, like I always had a feeling about telling Courtney about her dad. You know, I always felt worried about it because I know how her dad is, but I mean, I still did. She don't like her dad, but she got some good closure. So, yeah, that's what Pat's going to be doing. He's going to be fighting his Mike's mama so she can talk to him. Why she be in jail or something? I don't know. 
probably. Okay, so Courtney, she talks to Yolanda and she tells Yolanda that she wants to reveal everything to Cameron and also tell the others about what she's planning. So then we move over to Shaquem and Mike and Shaquem got Mike to sell some freaking newspapers. And he got, he got him to go look for Sydney, even though everybody's against Sydney, you know, you know, they hate the other side and all that stuff. So yeah, somebody needs to help Sydney for real. So anyway, Leonardo, not Da Vinci comes over to Cameron's grandparents' house. Well, you know, just Cameron's house, just Cameron's crib. And he goes to speak with his grandparents and he, you know, he's very concerned because he knows that Cameron He's very passionate about this, where he loves art. And, you know, his grandma obviously made him drop out. Yeah. And the grandpa, he recognizes that Cameron loves art. And, like, he keeps on, like, going against, you know, his grandma's wishes. And the teacher, he just, like, keeps on fighting. He's, like, telling me, he's, like, he has to be an art. Come on. Like, he loves it. And, you know, he's, like, I'm not going to leave until, you know, you let him get back into art. And he doesn't even believe some bullshit about like, oh, he lost interest. Yeah, no. He he sees the passion in his heart. And even the grandpa says that's to the grandma. And, you know, of course, she completely disagrees and ends up killing him. Bro has almost died a whole bunch of times. And he finally does. And he's not coming back. <laughs> yeah, he's not coming back. I'm sorry. He's just not coming back. So, yeah, they murdered the teacher. And, yeah. So Pat, he's in the he's in the garage. He's communicating with Sylvester on this little radio, but he's also trying to find Mike's mom. And that's when Sportsmaster comes in and you know he starts telling him, Oh, he's like, why do you want to find the ex? Like, you know, you don't really need to do that. But he's just like, you know, I really want Mike to have a little family or whatever, you know. Yeah. So Courtney, she finally makes up with the rest of the team. They all forgive her for what she did. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of that kind of story. And Courtney, she then has to tell them about Cameron, how she's going to tell everybody. And Yolanda, she's on her side. Beth kind of agrees. But then Rick, he's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> like that. OK, that man is actually crazy. Like your boyfriend is actually crazy. And he brings up a good argument. You want to tell him all this shit because you love him. Like, you want to put our lives in danger because you love him. Yeah, because she's not only, like, not only is she going to tell, not only is she going to tell Cameron about this stuff, she's also going to reveal their secret identities, too. So, yeah, she's putting them at a risk, at risk, pretty much. I mean, you can probably figure it out on his own if she told everybody she was star girl. Anyway, so, yeah, Yolanda, she agrees. And it's just Rick. But then he starts to agree because he's like, you guys are my family, you know. I, I, I really love all of you. And uh, I, 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 will be a, I will be a loser sitting in this freaking car. Just, I, I just don't know what I would do with you, without you guys. And I, 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 I really love you. <laughs> it was a very hard film. I'm not going to lie. Like, that was actually a pretty hard film moment. It was, it was really good. It, Almost felt like it came out of random. Like, you don't usually hear that, but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty in character for him, I guess. So yeah, he agrees, cause Courtney, and he pulls out the Glock, oh my God. Like, he's carrying this, the freaking thing, like it's a Glock or something. He got a concealer in his pants, which you kind of do. I mean, it is a weapon, technically. So, um, Tigris is gonna teach how, gonna teach Barbara how to fight and Beth I mean not Beth my bad I've been calling her Beth I'm sorry there's so many bees up in here not bees like in the bad way but like bees bees in the trap baby. bees in the trap <laughs> what the heck is that guy doing in the background I don't even know anyway Barbara Barbara she she's trying to she's trying to learn how to fight but she can't because she's a pacifist and uh yeah she's like you know, I know you're happy to have a friend and nobody's ever called Tiger as a friend. And so, yeah, she's happy she got a friend. So that's when Mike and uh, Jakeem, they go through Sydney's locker to find some evidence, you know, like where she may be. And they use the pen to find 
you know, to actually get into the locker and all that stuff. And they find this little note where it says that she's going to be at the Edder Produce Farm. So they plan on going there and going to look for Sydney. So that's when Courtney shows up to Cameron's house and, you know, she's going to explain the whole thing. Anyway, so Sylvester, while Beth is talking to the rest of the crew, Sylvester chimes in and he figures out who's actually been watching them this whole time. And it has been... Well, you're about to find out in, in another minute. It's been, okay, fine. It's been Cameron's grandparents. They've been finding, they've been looking for him, okay? Yeah, it's been him. It's been them, okay? So, Courtney, she's getting ready to tell Cameron the whole truth and, any, and nothing but the truth. And as this is all going on, Cameron's grandma is listening in. And just as soon as she's about to do it, Cameron's grandma comes in and she tells, Stop this! And that's when Rick comes out of nowhere and he's just like, I object. For some reason, he's kids don't do drugs. This is what happens to you. Imagine if they made it like the original comic books. Because in the original comic books, he actually does use pills instead of an hourglass. I think it is pills. So, yeah. And I really like the effect. Like Yolanda's just like sneaking in, like she's like slowly, yeah. So Rick breaks through the window. Why? I have no idea. And Yolanda, she breaks in too, but she doesn't break a window. So it's um, Yolanda versus Grandma. And then um, Beth is going to be fighting the Grandpa, who literally could have a heart attack at any second, which he does. So I like the effect. Like Yolanda's like, she's acting like a true, like a real fighter. Like she's just trying to find an opening. Like, and you know, she doesn't really know how her powers work exactly so she never knows she's like keeping on her toes right here i really do like it and it's actually a very good fight i think bro star girl look if we're gonna make an arrowverse tier list and we were making the best shows in the arrowverse like okay look maybe oh okay i'll tell you at the end okay okay so beth she gets a call from her dad while she's about to fight the grandpa and you can already tell the grandpa really doesn't want to fight but you know y'all break into his house so he has every right to actually hit you because <laughs> y'all are trying to attack him well not y'all i guess it's just you know, well i guess never mind they weren't trying to attack him but still you breaking and entering that's still very legal so anyway yeah yolanda she's actually kind of bodying the grandpa the grandma right now and that she's stuck there because the guy has ice powers and she doesn't know how to fight. But that's when her dad reveals that uh, um, uh, Dr. McNighter, after talking with him, that the suit has other systems that I don't know why he didn't tell her about. That's very weird. I don't know why he wouldn't reveal that. At all. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't see why she wouldn't. he wouldn't reveal that. Anyway, while all this is going on, our man has been fighting okay rick rick he's been fighting cameron and he's actually winning you know cameron i guess he learned how to fight i don't know where he did but he's not really even fighting i guess they both don't know how to fight but like for real but you know is what it is anyway yolanda she gets she gets taken down she gets frozen she's stuck to the wall and rick is now holding cameron up by a choke and is about to strangle him to death. That's when Cameron gets the upper hand by freezing, by almost freezing his arm and then freezes his legs and it just makes him trip. And he's left with the choice of finishing him or not. Also, by the way, Cameron, I mean, not Cameron, Rick backhand Courtney. So that's how you know, like, these drugs is like, the hour guys is really taking control of him. Like, he really needs to stop. So his grandma, she tells him, she's like, she tells Cameron that they're the ones who killed your father and you need to finish him. So he's getting ready to, and that's when a grandpa comes in and passes out. He has a heart attack, like I just said. So uh, Beth's dad tells Beth that she can use the goggles for like a resuscitation with her gloves, like electricity, and they revive him and everybody's okay. So, and everybody's just like on the ground. Rick is on the ground. Other two are okay, but yeah. Well, not really. They probably have multiple injuries. Anyway, so Hakeem and Mike, they finally arrive at the, 
arrive at the barn. We see this dude. He's just completely incapacitated. And that's when they bring out a little flashlight. And then they hear some noises. And it's this yak looking motherfucker. I feel like I've seen him. I don't know. I forget his name. He was from, I think he was from Justice League Unlimited. I know he was. I forget his name. I'm so sorry. So, okay, now I remember, now I remember, now I remember. Okay, so his name is the Ultra Human Knight. That's where he was from. That's where he's from. Okay, so the Ultra Human Knight, basically, he was a lab scientist who had a whole bunch of connections, and he actually is the first Superman villain, and he's the first supervillain to be published by dc yes he was basically lex luthor before lex luthor was a thing he was a bold scientist who was like just he didn't have like his name nobody really knew his real name they just call him the ultra humanite so basically his body was deteriorating so he sent his brain over to a gorilla actually he had a whole bunch of hosts that he would send his body to i mean his brain over to like he would send his brain over to a whole bunch of bodies and he has super strength, mind transferring powers, and has high intelligence. It's basically with him as brawn versus brain. This is Superman's first villain, like when he was Superboy. Yeah, so he's an albino gorilla who is one of the most intelligent people in uh, DC. Anyway, that is the end of the episode. So I will give this episode. This episode was great. I actually really did like it. I like the choreography. I like that we just got to see Ultra Humanite. I've seen you since I was a little boy. And just everything here. I think I, I think it was pretty good. I mean, Rick busting it was kind of unnecessary, but I mean it was the hourglass. So yeah. I don't know how you're gonna say sorry to Cameron about this. I mean, you probably have multiple injuries. Yeah. Anyway, I think this episode was overall pretty good. You guys tell me in the comments section what you guys thought of this episode. Was it good? Was it bad? Was it mad? um thank you guys for liking the shorts thank you for watching the shorts you guys seem to really really like shorts so i'm gonna keep on doing that thank you guys for 37 subscribers keep on doing that let's get it to 50 and uh um um don't do cigarettes smoke pussy and eat cigarettes eat pussy and smoke cigarettes don't do that anyway um yeah, I want to post it on Twitter by the reach. I want to post it on Instagram by the share. Share with your cousin, your uncle. Share with everybody. Share with everybody you know. Uh, share with anyone. Uh, share with your cover, whoever. Yeah. Also, I feel like I'm going to be doing a, a live stream maybe tomorrow. It'll probably be on tier list, so stay tuned to that. And yeah, go check out my other videos if you guys are new. Thank you. Bye, guys. Have an amazing life. See you all later.